Welcome to Mrs. Munson's Storytime. Today I'm reading the story, Ricky's Birdhouse by Monica Wellington. This is the front cover of our book. Can you predict what the story is about by looking at the illustrations? This is the title page. The title page contains the title of our story, the author, and publishers. Let's begin our story. All year long, many different kinds of birds come to Ricky's yard. He loves to watch them and feed them and listen to them sing. The pair that flash their blue feathers are new to his yard. Ricky wants the beautiful bluebirds to stay in his yard. He has an idea. Ricky draws up a plan for his project. He gets out his toolbox and gathers all the supplies he will need. Ricky measures and saws the wood into six pieces. He makes a small round opening in one piece. puts the parts together, carefully following his plan. He glues and hammers and sands. He paints and adds the finishing touches. Ricky has built a beautiful birdhouse. He picks a safe place to mount it in his yard. He has made the house specially for the bluebirds. He is hoping they will settle into it and make it their home. Winter comes. Some birds have flown south to warmer places. Many birds have stayed, but it is hard for them to find enough food. Seeds and berries are buried under the snow. Ricky prepares some special foods to put out for all the birds. Ricky loves to play in the snow in his yard. The birds play with him too. But when it is dark, Ricky is happy to be warm inside. He hopes the bluebirds are sleeping in the birdhouse, cozy and protected at night. In the spring, many birds migrate back from the south and return to Ricky's yard. They start to build their nests. Ricky helps them by putting out extra supplies, such as scraps of fabric and yarn. He is excited to see the bluebirds going in and out of the birdhouse. They must be building a nest there. Ricky is busy working in his garden. It is time to plant sunflowers. The birds love them and he does too. He keeps a close eye on the birdhouse. He hopes the mother bluebird is sitting on her eggs now, keeping them warm. There are going to be baby birds soon. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Ricky spots three baby bluebirds in the birdhouse. The parents are very busy finding good food for them to eat. The little birds love worms and insects. In the summer, there are many beautiful birds in Ricky's yard. The sunflowers are growing tall, and there are lots of good things for the birds to eat. Best of all, the young bluebirds are learning to fly and fend for themselves. Ricky loves to listen to them sing, and he sings with them too. Ricky 
Ricky harvests the sunflower seeds in the fall. Everyone is getting ready for winter. Soon it will be cold and Ricky will start feeding the birds extra food again. He has projects on his mind. He wants to build more bird houses for more birds in his yard. It's time to get out the toolbox again. The end. I hope you liked the story. Maybe you can make a bird house for birds in your area. See you next time.